Welcome back to another screencast. And in this one, we're going to discuss negations of conditional statements. So back in preview activity one from the Sundstrom textbook, what you found was that this logical equivalence holds, that the negation of P implies Q is P and not Q. And that is the negation of a conditional statement. To form that conditional statement, the most important thing to realize is that the negation of a conditional statement is not yet another conditional statement. Uh, that's very counterintuitive and hard to grasp sometimes. The negation of a conditional statement is actually an and statement where we assert P but the negation of Q as well. So let's get this under our fingers by doing some examples. We're going to take these two conditional statements that we first met in the previous screencast and just form their negations. So the first one says, if it's raining outside, I'll carry my umbrella. Now again, uh, the negation of this statement is not going to be an if-then statement, very importantly. Uh, I'm going to say, it's raining outside, it's raining, and I am not carrying my umbrella. Once again, I'm abbreviating in the writing because uh, my writing is not so great and it takes time. But here's what it says in English. It's raining outside and I'm not carrying my umbrella. That's the negation of this conditional statement. Again, it is not an if-then statement. It's an and statement. It's more like an assertion than a promise. And we're going to get to that a little more deeply in the next slide. Second statement says if P is a prime number and greater than 2, then P is odd. Now if I were going to negate that statement, I would make an assertion. I would make an AND statement. I would say that P is prime and P is greater than 2. And again, it's not an if-then statement. It's an AND statement. And P is not odd. P is, in other words, even. And that would be the negation of this if-then statement. Once again, the most important thing to realize is that the negation of a conditional statement is not another conditional statement. Get this uh, well understood in your mind here. Now, intuitively, why should we expect the negation of a conditional statement to be an AND statement? And you can look at the truth tables, and you did if you did preview activity one, and that's all well and good, but if we don't believe it in our hearts, it's not going to stick with us. So let's, why should that be? Let's go back to a conditional statement that I use with my kids. If you finish your dinner, then you can play outside. That's my original conditional statement, and here is its negation. You did finish your dinner, but, which is another way of saying AND, you cannot play outside. Now, why are these two things negations? Well, if you believe this, then I'm making a promise. I'm making a promise that is true. That makes me a good guy. If you believe it's negation, uh, I'm a liar. And I'm a bad guy. I'm a bad parent. And we should all be sad about that. These two things are completely opposite each other. Uh, if I say one and then do the other, that's a total contradiction in terms, literally a contradiction. These two things uh, cannot be true at the same time. It's not a conditional statement. It's an assertion that I have broken the promise set up by a conditional statement. So again, the negation of a conditional statement is not another if-then statement. It's an and statement uh, that says I did satisfy the hypothesis, but the conclusion didn't follow. So let's end this off with a concept check. Here's a statement. If A and B numbers, A and B, are even, then AB is even. Then what is its negation? Process, read through, pause the video, and come back when you're ready. So if you've been paying a little bit of attention to this video, you know you can immediately eliminate the first three. How come? Because they're if-then statements, and the negation of an if-then statement is not another if-then statement. So that rules those three out automatically because they're if-then statements. So what is the negation? I would have to, just like with my promise to my kids, I'd have to satisfy the hypothesis but negate the conclusion and join them with an and. Both of these are joined with and in in D, I am saying A and B are even, but AB is not even. So there is the correct answer, D. In E, I have uh, negated the hypothesis as well, and that's not part of the negation of the if-then statement. Thanks for watching.